Hi everyone, good evening and a great big welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. Um, my regular disclaimer that this is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children. Okay, so firstly, Happy New Year. Um, I'm really sorry that this video is late. Um, this is my December 2020 completed pages. I did film this, um, I think on the 29th of December, but I used my daughter's phone and technology being what it is, it is not allowing me to upload from there. Um, and the, vi the video was an hour and I'm having to redo it. <laughs> so please bear with me, my pages are not tagged anymore. Um, I've had to pull out the books that I worked in in December. So just please, please, I'll just ask for you to have a little bit of patience and bear with me um, when I'm finding the pages through the books. Um, so I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, um, a fantastic new year, um, however that may have looked like for you. Um, and for those of you in the UK um, who are now back in a national lockdown, I get it. I'm sorry. Oh, I know it sucks, but it's for our own safety. So I'm sending all my love and hugs and positive wishes to everyone who needs it at the moment. Okay, so the first book that I worked in in December was the Advent Calendar Easy Colouring Christmas Colouring Pages. Sorry, Christmas Calendar Pages from Sally Berry. Um, the company really kindly sent me this book for review and to share here on my channel. Um, so I'm just going to flip through quite quickly um, and show you the pages that I got done. And this was all done with, um, I didn't colour that page, um, this was all done with alcohol markers um, and glitter gel pens. So, I'll try and show as much sparkle on the screen as I can. This one had a little bit of stickles on the bubbles as well. Um, this one. Some of them, I didn't realise my blotter page had sort of shifted, so there was a little bit of bleed through on some of the pages, but I'm not. I'm not too worried. Um, I really like this one and I put my children's names on the stocking and just added a little bit of stitching detail on there myself with a black micron. This one's just really, really simple. was all gel pens I think well mostly this one had a little bit of stickles around him very cute okay this one was all glitter gel pen I knew it was uh, one of these pages <laughs> gingerbread man Santa was very, very plain. That didn't take long at all. Okay, so I missed that one. This one was all glitter gel pen as well. Um, I think this was the um, Link Shine glitter gel pens on that one. This was um, Bic Marking Metallics. And...
the air glitter, I think. Jelly roll. And that was as far as I got. So I got up to page 20, um, but I missed one. So technically I have six pages left to finish in this book. Um, but I will probably just finish them, like, you know, I'll finish these before Christmas this year. So there was that one. Then another book um, that I was sent by Sally Berry. If I just zoom out a smidge. Oops, there we go. Um, so this was their easy colouring book for adults Christmas. And I coloured this one. And again, this was done with alcohol markers, um, some glitter gel pens, which included um, Jelly Roll Stardust and Pentower Hybrid Dual Metallic. And then there's a metallic gold Uniball Signo gel pen on there as well. And then a little bit of um, Jelly Roll Metallic, just for some little accents on the tree. I wrote ho 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 here in the picture frame and then um, this was uh, it was either white Posca or white jelly roll to add the stars there in the background so that was that one next I worked in um, Sagal Oxagna by Emily Liderhall Oberg and I completed I completed this one. Um this was done with Castle Art pencils. There's some metallic posca there in the background. Um I just added those circles with a stencil and then there's some colour glitter gel pens on there and some stickles here on the marbles and then there is some gold and silver uniball um, metallic gel pen um, white jelly roll black jelly roll glaze um, Arteza Inconic fine liner and then, as you can see again on this book, I added the children's names in a gold metallic gel pen on that one. So I really like how that turned out. So there was that one. Next, um, I finally <laughs> completed a forever whip from Fairy Celebrations by Clara Markova. Um, I will be honest with you guys, I was literally this close to buying a replacement of this book, but um, I don't want to do that because it, it, oh, these books are not, they're not exactly budget friendly and also I want to try and salvage pages that I, you know, rather than feel like the book is ruined. Um, so I persevered with a page that has been a buddy colour for, oh my goodness, about a year, maybe a little over a year. Um, and it was this one. So this was a buddy colour with my beautiful best friend, Tess. Honestly, my lovelies, I cannot remember everything I used on here. Um, I know there was alcohol markers. There's obviously pencil shading. Um, there's some jelly rolls. Um, there's metallic posca in the background for the sky. There's some jelly roll glaze. Um, there's some metallic gold. There's some glitter gel pens. And then where I've shaded the snow... Um, I've gone over it with some stickles. I don't know if it's picking that up or not. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so I've put stickles on um, 
where the snow is and this is one of the pages where you add one of the things from the back so you colour it and then add it to the page and it makes a chest and then all here's all our gifts and things inside so even though this one took such a long time to complete I'm really really pleased with it I'm, I'm really proud um, I tried keeping it to a limited palette but then as you can see I think in a few places that just started getting away from me a little bit um, but yeah overall I'm really happy with it and I'm so proud of myself for persevering with this and completing it so hopefully I can do that with the other four whips that I've got in this book. then I worked in 101 Unique Mandalas. This is by Camellia Angel Cova. Okay, now I know I completed a few in here. I just need to remember which ones. I know this was definitely one of them. And this was done with um, Bic Intensity um, Markers and a... I think it was a Kalia or a Chromatech. I think it was a Kalia um, silver glitter gel pen. And this really deep purple that you see here, um, that was a super, um, not super fine, an ultra fine Bic Intensity marker. So there's that one. Um, I started that one, but I just. No, I don't like how that's turning out. Um, like I said, I know there was a few in here. It's just a bit tricky for me now because these were all done and put away. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is one of them. So, yeah, this one again, this was done with alcohol markers and Pento Hybrid Dual Metallic there we go really really pretty and again I kept that to a limited palette I really like doing that on mandalas I just think it it suits them beautifully um, and this one and again alcohol markers um, a Jelly Roll Stardust and I think this is a um, a big a big intensity metallic there as well. I really like the colours on that one. I think that one turned out quite pretty. Okay, and then the next one is 50 wintertime mandalas again by camellia angel cova um this was a book that tegan had actually <laughs> she had scrounged from me because um oh she really got into mandalas back along so she had this book anyway um a couple of weeks ago she was going through her stuff and she was like oh, i don't color in it anymore so i was like okay brilliant i'll um i'll take it back off your hands and um work in it because i love i do love camellia's books so in december i completed the nameplate page this was all done with the big intensity markers um, and then I have used, um, I think, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic and Chromatech Glitter Gel Pens. And then a silver um, Uniball Signo Metallic as well. So there's that one. Okay, now we're moving into some colour by number books. These are by, um, let me see, yeah, so these are by Sun Life Drawing. The first one is Little Fairies Stained Glass Colour by Number. And I have no idea which ones I've done this month. Um, 
think it might have been two pages. I don't know. It was it was one or two. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, um, in my um, Sun Life drawing books, I always colour with the same markers. So it is a mixture of alcohol markers, um, sharpies. There isn't any Crayola Super Tips anymore because I've run out of all of those now. Um, oh, some of the uh, Statler Dual Ended Fibre Tip Markers and Statler 326. This one's really cute. The background looks sort of really frosty and icy as well. So, yeah, lovely winter colours in the background for that one. And then again, by Sun Life Drawing, we have their Travel Mosaic colour by number. This is the original. And I coloured... Yeah, I coloured two. So there was this one. Again, using alcohol markers, Sharpies, um, Statler 326 and Statler dual ended fibre tip pens. Oh, this one did have Crayola Super Tips on it. I do apologise because this is where one of the colours was really running out here. The um the brown colour. And I used um Calia glitter gel pen for the lines in the background. And then we have this one. Again, I used a glitter gel pen to do the line work there in the background. That was everything in that one. I don't know about you guys. I know many of you do, but oh, I just I find colour by numbers so relaxing. And obviously December is quite a stressful month, isn't it? So yeah, colour by numbers were my best friend. As as always, as always. But yeah, they 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 helped me out big time in December. Okay, so the next one is stained glass colour by number. Christmas again by Sun Life Drawing and I completed two yeah two in this one so we have the gingerbread house and this really really cute one got Santa coming down the chimney it looks like the little cat and dog are like shh shh be quiet <laughs> Don't let Santa know we're awake. I've left him out some goodies there on the table. Very cute. And then again from Sun Life Drawing, we have Colour by Number Christmas Mosaic. And this is on a black background. Love these books so much. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> I will show you the pages that I completed in here. No, Louis. So there is this one. Again, same mediums, like I said, as I've mentioned, um, that I use in all of Sun Life's books. I apologise for Louis meowing in the background, and he's going to walk across the camera. There you go. Okay. <laughs> This one, I love this. This is so cute. I really like how that one turned out. Little puppy by the window, looking out for Santa. Okay, this one was already done previously. Um, this one, was this done previously? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> This is what I mean. Oh, it's frustrating without having the tags anymore. But what can you do? What can you do? This is adorable. I love that teddy bear tree. That is just so incredibly cute. 
this one. I think Santa's a little bit spooky looking, <laughs> to be honest. But hey, it's a completed page. This one. This is um, from the front cover. You can see I've got, yeah, markers running out left, right and centre. But they made it. They made it through the page just about. And then this one. I love this. And um, this page is even more special because this was a buddy colour with the beautiful Shelley from The Stitching Colourist. Um, so I just want to say a great big thank you so much to Shelley for reaching out to me and inviting me to do a buddy colour with her. It was so much fun and um, I really look forward to being able to um, buddy up with Shelley again in the future. Um, so Shelley, if you're watching this, sweetheart, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And your page is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, so yeah, that was it from this one and then the last of the sun life drawing is the color by number travel mosaic this is the black background version so i did color in both the original and the black background this month and i just done the one page in here this month and it was this one i think it turned out really super pretty <sighs> Oh, excuse me for yawning. Oh my gosh. I've been uh, doing the first day of homeschooling with the little ones again today. So it's, oh my gosh. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I take my hat off to teachers. So there's that one. Okay. And then still keeping with colour by numbers. I have the Creative Movie Posters Colour by Number. This is by the fantastic Colour Questopia. And I coloured this one. Um, this was done mostly with Bic Intensity markers, but there is, there is some water-based markers just for her headdress. Um, and then the lines, I believe, were a Colourya or Chromatech glitter gel pen. So, I really like how she turned out. I'm not keen on the colours that um, they've chosen for the background. Excuse me. Um, but again, it's a completed page. And the main thing is that I had a lot of fun doing it. So, um, there's that one. Okay, the next is the gorgeous book Drummingbanger by Tomislav Tomic. Um, now, if you've been with me for quite a while, you may remember me starting a, a double page spread in here about a year and a half ago, maybe more, um, when I received my beautiful set of Caran Pablo pencils as happy mail from the gorgeous melody um and yeah i started using them in live streams on a double page spread and then um i felt like i had ruined the background and i just i left it i left it because i tried i think it was ink tense on the background and it just yeah it didn't it didn't look right so i abandoned this double page spread for the longest time and i was looking at it over christmas and i was like I really really want to get this page done because the work I had done on it was it was so many hours of work and I had really loved it up until the point where I just when I just started the background and it just looked awful I was like no I've, I've messed it up I've ruined it anyway Aaron bless his heart he was like Kate you can sort it I, I believe in you. you you know just just try you can fix it see what you can do so I pulled out my black posca <laughs> and i just blacked out the entire background so rather than having this like a sunny day kind of background i made it a nighttime one and i am so glad that aaron encouraged me to complete it 
because it has got to be one of the pages that I am the most proud of now. Um, so I know that I definitely use Pablo pencils on it. There is some Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Black Jelly Roll Glaze. The ground is um, ink tents and the, the floor tiles. Um, there is other pencils on here. I cannot remember what. There's some water-based markers. Um, metallic gold. Um, just all sorts. All sorts. And um, like I said, I don't know if I can zoom out anymore. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super, super proud of myself for completing this. Um, and like I said, it's it's actually now one of my favourite pages. I think that I've that I've done. So yeah, I'm really really happy with how that turned out. So let me <coughs> zoom back in a little bit. Okay, then I worked in the Flowers Stained Glass Colour by Number book. This is by Kira Sheshneva. I don't want to show you that one. Um, okay, so these are the ones... I've done and again this is using the same markers that I use in Sun Life Drawing so it is a variety of alcohol markers, Sharpies, um, oh my goodness, Statler 326 and the Statler dual ended fibre tip markers. Okay that one was already done. Oh, okay, and that's another one that I'm working on. So, there we go, there's that one. I need to keep that book out, because like I said, I've got a page that I'm working on in there at the moment. So I'll just put that one there. Oh, I don't think it's going to stay. Okay. And then again, by the lovely Kira Shashneva, we have Colour by Number Quest Christmas. Um, and... Again, a great big thank you to Kira for sending me these books for review. They're, they're beautiful and I really appreciate and enjoy collaborating with you. It's an absolute pleasure. So thank you so much, Kira, for the opportunity to share your books on the channel. So I <coughs> completed this one. I think, yeah, most of this was done with the... Um, the Statler dual ended markers and then we have a little bit of Sharpie on here so that's the only page I've done in here but I do want to work in this one even though we're sort of past Christmas I do want to continue working in there because it's such a lovely book it really is it's gorgeous so that's Colour by Number Quest Christmas then we have this beautiful book by the fabulous Rita Berman, developed under De Lupe Zuvossa. And I completed this double page spread. And this was a buddy colour with the lovely Ashley. So I just want to say a great big thank you to Ashley so much for buddy colouring with me. I really enjoyed it and I, you know, I'm really happy actually with how the page turned out. I think the background is a little bit washed out, but that's okay. I had a lot of fun. Um, okay, so I used the Faber Castell Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencils. I think this was Castell Art <coughs> pencils. There's some water-based markers, glitter gel pen. Um, white jelly roll pentel hybrid dual metallic silver uniball signo metallic and on the um the beads here the jeweled necklace i put stickles if you can see that so 
very cute and some um jelly roll moonlight for some highlights there on the little bits of orange coral so there was that one next i worked in spooklets volume one by the fantastic carla magana and i set a challenge in the um the facebook coloring group that i run with the beautiful shaleen um, and it was to take any of Carla's pages from any of her books and colour it, you know, colour it for the festive season. So uh, this was mine. Um, so on her I used alcohol markers, coloured pencil, um, I think there's some Arteza retractable gel pens. For the, the green and gold dots in the background um, and then there's gold uniball metallic for the stars pentel hybrid dual metallic some little accents here on her outfit and her eyeshadow and lips her glittery rosy cheeks that was a pink um, jelly roll stardust and then I've used a jelly roll moonlight to add some highlights in her hair and also the jelly roll moonlight for the green and red here on her skirt for those accents and things there I think she turned out really really super cute so yeah my little red headed floofy Christmas elf <laughs> very very cute love that one Okay, and then I worked in some of my Disney colouring books. So the first one was Disney Kaleidoscopes. Unfortunately, I don't know who the artist is of this beautiful, beautiful book. But I coloured the last page in here. Whoops, and this one. Whoops, there we go. There, you can see the shine and sparkle on it now so I started this one I made a note of it <laughs> I started this one on Friday the 25th of December so Christmas Day um, and we were watching the animated version of The Grinch while I was colouring this and I completed it on Sunday the 27th of December I used Arteza fine liners castle art pencils chromatech and link shine glitter gel pens and a white Posca so really simple really really simple I think the black Mickey heads actually I think they were the um a paper mate oh what's it called I've got one here uh paper mate flare it was it was one of these that I used for the black Mickey Mouse silhouettes there so there's that one. Very, very cute. <clears throat> then I worked in Disney Grand Classique Carez Mysteries by Hashit Heroes. And I coloured this one. And this was done, I think this was all done with the um, Statler dual ended fibre tip markers. I really like how this turned out and the colours are beautiful. Um, I do have the 120 set which I was kindly sent quite a while ago as Happy Mail and I love them, absolutely love them. Um, so yeah, absolutely over the moon with how that page turned out from um, 101 Dalmatians. Okay, now this is one of the books that I want to complete in 2021. I need to be careful because I've worked in the... Okay, I've worked in there this month. So it was just... Okay, so this is <laughs> Les Ateliers, Coloriage Mysteries Disney. This is hatchet jeunesse and I completed this big double page spread 
of the Aristocats. And again, this was done with the um, Statler dual-ended fibre tip markers. Really, really pleased. And surprisingly, it didn't take too long. And I thoroughly enjoyed myself colouring this. It was a lot of like pinks and kind of peachy, salmon-y colours, which got a little bit repetitive. But when you look at it as a whole, I just, I think it's so fun and lively. It's, it's really, really fun. And since then, I have completed another two, five pages. So I've got one, two, three, two, three pages left. So this is another one that I will be keeping out and taking back upstairs with me. Um, so no doubt, I think you will probably see this one, the entire book completed this month in January 2021. So then that will be one of the 10 books that I can cross off my list. Yay, go me. <laughs> so I'm so, so close to finishing this one. I can't wait to show you guys the entire flip through. <clears throat> okay, and then the last Disney one that I worked in was the Colorage Mysteries Disney Cercle Magique. Um, this is by Hashit Heroes. And in this one, I was colouring the book in order, but then the colours just looked really dull on the next page and I thought, I, I don't, don't want to do browns and greys. It's just, I just wanted something um, colourful and just vibrant and cheerful. So I chose this page with th this colour palette. As soon as I saw that palette, I was like, yeah, okay, perfect. And um, we ended up with Tweedledee and Tweedledum from Alice in Wonderland. And again, this was done with the Statler dual-ended fibre tip markers. So much fun. So much fun. Really like how the, how the colours turned out on that one. I think they're adorable. It's so cute. I can't wait to work in this one more. Um, so, yeah. Love that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. Okay, the next one I worked in is A Million Sloths, and this is by Lulu Mayo. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so ridiculously cute, this book. I love it. I love Lulu Mayo's books. And I completed this one. So I used the um, Statler Dual Ended Fibre Tip Markers as a base. And then I've used Castle Art pencils for a little bit of shading. Um, a green, either Chromatech or Colia glitter gel pen to go over the stems of the leaves. Um, <clears throat> and then there's some white jelly roll. Um, metallic Posca for the background. Um, I think this was a um, Jelly Roll Stardust here for the blue. And then the silver. Um, I've got a feeling that that was a, a um, Chromatech gel pen for silver on there. But yeah, I really like how that turned out. And these, these are just so fun. Um, and I don't know about... Um, any of you who have any of Lulu's books but honestly they never ever fail to make me smile they're, they're gorgeous absolutely beautiful so there is that one next I worked in Romantic Country the Third Tale this is by Eerie and my coloured this one um and this was a buddy color with my beautiful friend zoe from addicted to coloring so a great big thank you so much to zoe for inviting me to buddy color and um 
it's it's a pleasure as always zoe is such an absolute sweetheart um so on this page i used castle art pencils um i think there's some darren ink tents arteza inconic fine liners um metallic uniball signo in gold um, a little bit there in silver just around their shoes like I said black Posca some Pentel hybrid dual metallic metallic Posca and then on the baubles on the tree here um, I had purchased myself a pack of the link shine gel pens glitter gel pens and they're gorgeous but my goodness they take quite some time to dry as you can see they smudged here and luckily this um the sort of the, the flap of the front cover was folded over so the pen leaked onto the clip pen leaked onto that instead of this page i was so relieved but um yeah just be mindful if you are going to try the link shine glitter gel pens just please please be mindful that they do stay wet for quite a while they need a good a good amount of drying i would leave your book open overnight just to be on the safe side and even then just be so so careful when you're checking it the following day um but yeah this was mine and i i'm really pleased with how it turned out i did mess up the ground on here hence why we have the black posca again Black Posca has saved the day more than once in December, so, yeah. But really, you know, really pleased with how that turned out. And so there was that one. <clears throat> then I worked in Mandala's Night colouring book. This is by Colourya, and this was really generously sent to me by colour yeah, for review and to share on my channel so a great big thank you to colour yeah, for collaborating with me yet again and giving me the opportunity to share their gorgeous products here on the channel with you all <clears throat> okay so the first page i completed was this one um we have a little bit of glitter gel pen on there so this was done with um Big intensity markers and colour yeah, glitter gel pens. Really, really pretty. So there was that one. And then, oh, oops. I don't think there was any others. I think it was that one. I've just, yeah, so it was this one. And this was done all with um, big intensity fine markers as well not the ultra fine point the the regular the regular fine point i really like the colors on that i think that turned out really pretty so there's that one such a gorgeous book to color in and the paper is oh it's cardstock it's a dream to work on okay and then we have a whimsy girl's christmas by hannah lynn guys it was so nice to revisit this book um this was one of my earlier colouring books actually and I'm so glad that you get two of each page in here because it means that I can colour the sec you know the same image that I you know some of the images I've already done I get the opportunity to colour them again um but on this occasion I coloured one that I hadn't already done and it was this one so <clears throat> she was done with alcohol markers um this is white um i think it's white posca just to make the um the fluff on her outfit look more soft and fluffy and then we have um jelly roll stardust silver uniball signo metallic and then on i don't know if you can tell on her wings i was trying to blend um a blue and silver glitter gel pen together so even though it looks kind of streaky when I do this when you hold it up it just it looks so pretty and so shiny so that was me trying to 
to blend <laughs> glitter gel pens. I think she turned out really pretty. It's not not fussy. Oh, and there is some pencil shading on her as well. Um, I don't know what that was. It looks like there is some of the um, Caran d'Ache Buff Titanium uh, Luminance pencil there. But I don't know what else. Might have been some Polychromos actually. But um, yeah, I really like how she turned out. Really pretty. And then the second Hannah Lynn book that I worked in for December was Whimsy Girls Through the Decades colouring book. And I coloured this one. So I kept her really, really simple. Um, I was going to colour the stripes in the background, but I didn't want to overdo it. I'd, I just, I felt like if I coloured the background, then I would be taking away from like the stars and stuff. And I, I didn't want to do that. So I just kept it very, very simple. So this is Alcohol Markers. Coloured pencils. I don't know which though. I'm not sure. Um, and then gold, metallic gold pen and then I used some um, jelly roll stardust for the sparkly stars but I really like the colours I used on here especially the the colour of her outfit with the the pop of green behind her I just think that looks really cute so that's that one I love this book so much I really do absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to get um hannah's new one um i think it's like uh isn't it whimsy girls like uh occasions or something something like that different occasions um so yeah absolutely gorgeous then i worked in Christmas fun festive girls coloring book by Deborah Miller um I purchased this book oh my gosh guys I love it so much I'm so glad I bought this it's oh it is so adorable if you haven't got this book already I would highly recommend it oh also I know we're like really late into the video if you see any books um, in this video that you would like a flip through of, let me know down in the comments. I will make a note and I will get that filmed for you. I'm really sorry. I'm saying that as we're nearly done. <sighs> Go figure. Okay. So Christmas Fun by Deborah Muller. I coloured a few in here. I think there was like two or three. Okay. So we have this one. So this was done with alcohol markers, Bic Intensity Metallic, Black uh, Jelly Roll Glaze, uh, Jelly Roll Metallic, Jelly Roll Stardust, there's some white, <coughs> white Jelly Roll there on the snow just to separate like, each section. And then I drew um, some little stars here in the background and some snowflakes. And on the dots of the snowflakes, I don't know if you can see, I added a little bit of stickles. So. And then there's stickles on the little balls of snow down here as well. I don't know if it's picking that, any of that up. But it's on there. <laughs> really like how that came out. I think she's adorable. Really super cute. Um, this one. The Ugly Sweater Contest. So this is just um, alcohol markers. Colour pencil. White jelly roll. Um, gold. Um, Uniball Signo Metallic. There was a copper metallic copper gel pen here which I think is from the colour glitter gel pens 
and some white uh, white jelly roll to go over the little pom poms on her on her sweater. Very cute. And this one, the title page. So this was just done again with um, alcohol markers. Um, it includes the. Or it might have all been done with them actually. The Bic Intensity Fine markers. And then there's um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic for the gold stars on the wreath. And then we've got some metallic, metallic purple gel pen there, just on the cuffs of her sleeve. Jelly roll glaze for her shoes. And some white, white jelly roll highlights there on the on the baubles and in her eyes and things like that just to throw a few highlights there and then I worked in another Deborah Muller book and that was Gnome for the Holidays so cute and I completed the nameplate page in this one again this was alcohol markers black jelly roll glaze um, Big intensity metallic. Um, that was a uni ball metallic gold um, uni ball signo, jelly roll stardust, and some Pentel hybrid dual metallic for the snowflakes. And where I wrote my name, and he's adorable, so so cute. Okay, <clears throat> these are two new colouring books to me as well, which um, I think I purchased them both. Yeah, I think I purchased both. Um, okay, so we have the Kawaii Christmas Grayscale Colouring Book by Jade Summer. And I coloured this one. This is for hashtag Colour Your Hoard 2020, hosted by the beautiful Lavella. And again, this was done with alcohol markers, Bic Intensity markers, um, metallic jelly roll, jelly roll stardust, uniball signo metallic gold. We've got metallic green. Uh, I think that was a um, um, jelly roll metallic and then we've got some jelly roll white and some jelly roll moonlight here that I've used on these three lights I wanted to make it look like they were glowing really brightly but they oh they did not sit well on the paper I don't know if you can see that but it, they were like scratching the paper it just yeah they didn't they didn't go on too well there which is a shame but overall I'm really happy with how that one turned out I think that was it was that all I done in this one yeah so just that one in the kawaii Christmas and then we have cheery Christmas adult coloring book again by Jade Summer and I completed this one. So this one was for Colour Your Hoard 2020 as well. So again, pretty much the same as the other page. Um, alcohol markers, jelly roll stardust, metallic posca, um, Jelly Roll Moonlight, Uniball Signo, Gold and Silver. So, and some white Jelly Roll for highlights there, little stars in the sky. And then I know I coloured another one. Okay, yeah, perfect. Um, this one. Again, um, alcohol markers, glitter gel pens. Jelly Roll Glaze, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic, 
Jelly Roll Stardust. Very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, and then the next book is Medinot Masquerade by Hannah Carlson. This was a whip for quite a while because I just, I wasn't liking how it, how it was turning out, but I've just added a few bits and called it done. Um, and it was this one. It was this one. Um, I think, yeah, she was based mostly with alcohol marker. I think I was trying to use, um, I've got a few open stock Copic like skin tone markers. I was trying to use that on her skin and blend and stuff and it just, I don't know how to blend with them. So, uh, yeah, I just think I ruined her skin and then I tried fixing it with pencil. It's not great, hence why I'm kind of just, I'm done with it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Copic markers, um, alcohol markers, Bic Intensity Fine, Pento Hybrid Dual Metallic, Jack, oh, black jelly roll glaze, um, Uniball Signo Gold Metallic, and Pento Hybrid Dual Metallic, and the gold here on her mask, if you can see that, that was done with the um, Kuretake Ganzai Tambi Starry Colors uh, watercolor paint. So yeah, I'm just I'm I'm not happy with her, so I'm just I'm calling her good. Calling it done. Oh, and then last but not least, the final book, which we were actually working in on camera together, is The Seasons by Hannah Carlson. And so I did what complete one page in here off camera, just sort of in my own time. And that was this one so this was done with um, oh, Castle Art pencils some Pento Hybrid Dual Metallic Silver Metallic Uniball Signal and then we've got some black Posca, some metallic blue Posca, and some white Jelly Roll that I went around the crystals and icicles with. I really like how that came out. It's quite simple. And then the page that we were working on together was this one. <laughs> it's done. I'm so happy. So this was Castle Art Pencils. Um, I think there was a little bit of polychromos here on the ruffle around his neck. And then there was some, oh, Bic Intensity Fine liners. But the water-based ones, I think there was some of them. Um, gold, uh, metallic gold Uniball Signo. Jelly Roll White. Um, stickles there, I don't know if you can see that on the snow and I've put a little bit just around here around the, the lights to make it look like they're glistening and glowing as well and then um, blue Posca for the background here it was looking great it was going on like a solid colour but as we move towards the top, it was starting to struggle a little bit. So I, I have got streaks, but that's that's okay. I'm still really, really, really thrilled with the page. And I'm I'm really proud of how this one turned out. So for those of you who were watching or joining along, I really hope you enjoyed that video. So there you go. Finally, I have re-recorded my completed pages for the month of December 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm really sorry that it is late. Um, and as I mentioned a short while ago, if there's any books you would like an entire flip through of, 
please feel free to let me know. Don't forget that this month I am co-hosting hashtag Disney Birthday Bash 2021 with the beautiful Zoe from Addicted to Colouring because we both celebrate our birthdays this month, as does my son. Um, so yeah, please feel free to join us. Um, and a happy new year. I hope you are all staying safe and as well as you possibly can. Thank you for joining. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Lots of love. Bye.